Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. It's a two-parter, this being part one, but it's part two that I particularly want you guys to go and watch after watching this one, of course. So why would I prefer you to watch part two instead of watching part one? Let me explain. In this episode, I'm wandering around a very busy city centre, the centre of Liverpool to be precise, trying to encapsulate what the city looks and feels like with just two days to go before Christmas. But, but it's in part two, and I can't stress this enough, it's in part two where things get very interested and very heated. Now in part two, it's a collaboration between myself and my very good friend Mally. Oh, welcome to <laughs> another video from Gary Goff. <laughs> we decided to stay out into the early hours of the morning. And the reason being is because the day was Friday. Me and Gary are out around Liverpool shooting as many obscure, behavioural, crazy Friday night, mad Friday, the last Friday before Christmas. It's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait. I'm here. Let's do it. It's known in certain walks of life as mad or fighting Friday. So in part two, you'll briefly see a fight that kicked off between a bouncer and a lady. Pushing her and pushing her and she's, he's pushing her away and she just went and gobbed in his face. And also, it's a fact in case you didn't know, according to the security man who chatted to us for about 10 minutes, it's against the law to photograph women. Only oh, took pictures of women. Taking pictures of people. Not women though. What's wrong with that? I'm men. Why? I'm just seeing taking pictures of women, yeah. I'm men. Yeah, I know, I know a lot of them taking pictures. I can take pictures of whatever I like. Can you? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, in the city, yes. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure, sir. It's not like you're taking pictures of women. I'm not taking pictures yes, of women. Was. I'm I've taking pictures it. of everyone. You're not filming anything. I am. You haven't seen my, 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 my film, I you, you, got, you can't see man. Can you? Can you? No, you can't. Can you? Can you see man, brother? Do you know anything about street photography? I do, yeah. I don't like you taking pictures of women. Oh, is it right? Yeah. So we can just take pictures of men? I want to I I ask the police when I see him, is that right? Now, I love my street photography, but clearly I don't do enough of it. And the reason why I don't post as much street photography on my channel is simply because it's fairly difficult to film the process. I don't have a problem with walking and talking, and it's not the embarrassment side. It's just the taking pictures and filming at the same time. So to overcome that, I've done what most other street photographers do. I've purchased a GoPro, which I've attached to my chest. And the reason why I've done that is to offer you guys a personal POV so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Having said that, what I struggle with is taking pictures away from my eye. You'll see a lot of street photographers, they'll mount their cameras on their chest and they'll hold their camera at chest height away from their body so that you, the viewer, can see what the photographer is seeing on the back of the screen. I struggle to do that. I struggle to see the back of my screen when it's that far away because of my eyes. And also I feel very uncomfortable doing it. I've been a photographer for many years and getting away from placing the camera up to your eye is, it's a difficult process. I just don't like it. I prefer to pick the camera up to my eye. So whilst I'm wandering around, all I'm really looking for are interesting people, interesting shapes or angles or situations, and very often interesting perspectives. Even though an image like this is nothing new, I'm still drawn to it because I think in certain circumstances, it looks quite cool. Now, because it's a non-technical video, and just in case you're interested, I shoot 99% of all of my street photography in shutter speed priority. I set my 
ISO to auto. If I see a subject moving and I want to freeze them, I'll increase my shutter speed. If I want to pan with them and blur the background out, I'll slow my shutter speed down. My general shooting shutter speed is 250th of a second. And if I find myself in a situation where I want a shallow depth of field, then depending on the light, I'll just increase my shutter speed to force my aperture wide open. I like to keep things nice and simple. So this guy's playing four chords on his guitar. He's not singing a word and all the music is on a tape and he's expecting people to pay for that privilege. How crazy is that? I do like the idea of the, uh, the monkeys though. How ironic is that? That's crazy, isn't it? I'm actually stood in the high street watching a video of guys camping on top of a mountain. Ask me right now where I'd rather be. Here or there. <laughs> That's pretty ironic, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's no answer to that, by the way. The answer is both. Because I love my street photography as well. I just don't do enough of it. I thought this area looked quite nice, so I hung around and waited till an appropriate time, then I slowed my shutter speed down just to create a bit of movement. Right, so what I'm looking at here with this singer is I want to place a focus on the singer itself but slow the shutter speed right down I want to say right down I'm going to see if I can get it down to about maybe a fifth of a second because what I want to try and do is get a bit might be a bit too much go up to like a tenth of a second I want to get a picture of the guy singing with people walking by slightly blurred out. I keep forgetting to hold my camera up there, by the way. I'm taking pictures, not holding my camera up there. Sorry. That sounds a bit better. taking pictures and the weather changes dramatically like now because there's a shift in people's moods a shift in people's patterns the umbrellas are going up people are running for cover and so on it's so cool it is so cool now classic shot i know and i apologize about that let's grab a shot through this bin absolutely no idea 
but I could possibly get a nice frame with that subject there I don't know I have no idea no idea anybody else any ideas <laughs> I like these two chatting away here with the umbrellas up. I'm just trying to get an angle on them. Focus on her. Back a bit, back a bit. <laughs> I quite like this, this is quite nice. When people are walking through, their face has been momentarily lit up by the neon of the reindeer, which is quite nice. Just gotta wait for somebody to come through now. Just walking through this shopping precinct, I caught sight of these two workers in the mirror that were being lit quite nicely. And I thought it looked quite interesting. This is pretty cool. I'm using this and that backdrop, taking a pre-focus there, getting a, an interesting crop and an interesting frame and then waiting for somebody to walk into it and then grabbing a shot. Oh, it works when the backdrop is really nice. That's pretty cool, that. I like that. So I'm just waiting for an interesting character to come past. That's all. That guy possibly? No, he's not coming past. I've got a few guys to my right hand side here, they may well come past. This character here looks good. Quick frame. Tonight we're in Liverpool and tonight is Fighting Friday or commonly known as Mad Friday. It's a night when people finish work early and they come out and celebrate the end of a year of working hard so you get some robust characters and I'm shooting with a Nikon ZF. I'm so excited. I've already took a few shots and been experimenting with it for two or three days now. The focusing is rapid. So in low light, stormy conditions like we're getting tonight, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna grab the shots. 